Is this heaven? No, it's a podcast. Welcome to the Field of Geeks podcast. To episode 146 of the Field of Geeks podcast. I'm Josh. I'm Mitch. I'm Dave. I'm Juan. We got special guests in the house. Yes. Holla. What up? Gentlemen, welcome <laughs> back to the show. This is a crossover today. So yeah. uh, I usually do the super unknown with Juan and Dave. And um, guys, uh, you're talented on your own. So please uh, plug away uh, your uh, accomplishments in life. Dave, you're first. No, man, that's all you. That's all me? Okay. I'm Juan. Uh, I like uh, comic Big books and movies. That, that's true. That's true. I really do. Nothing wrong. With How that. did he know? How did he know? <laughs> um, it, I really don't know what the plug though. You know, like well, you're a musician. You're well, I'm kind of a big deal. That's what, we, <laughs> that's, what <we're, laughs> that's what we were talking about. Just a second. Excuse me. <laughs> well, no, I do music, and then uh, uh yeah, comic book enthusiast, um, movie enthusiast, all the all the fun stuff, and of course, I like weird. Uh, odd things like that. Hence the show, uh, the super unknown. Okay. So that's right up my alley. So yeah. Um, can martial you share, artist boxing, all can that you stuff. Share a current project you're working on. Actually. Yes. I'm currently working on a graphic novel. Oh, wow. Called, uh, Chronicles of the Wicked. And Ooh. to simplify it, it's about a biker gang, a futuristic biker gang with superpowers. We'll keep it that simple. Nice. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, uh, was it Wild Hog. Is that oh, yeah. yeah there you go. Jesus, excuse me. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> the Canadian belch no, today. We're going to have some belching in the, <laughs> in the book as well. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was trying. I was holding that back. <laughs> was that chicken? Canada Dry. <laughs> Canada Dry. <laughs> anyway, Wild Hogs, I could see like that same cast in your book. It oh yeah, make it really bad, but yeah, I can make you know what I'm saying like there's there's gonna be some humor in it. But, you don't need them, but overall, like I was telling Josh before we started recording, like a uh, hardest thing to write is villains, man. I don't care what anyone says, like villains are just oh, unless you want to just make make them like absolutely evil and yeah, I just want to well, be just, evil for the sake of yeah. being evil. Yeah, there's so many various ones out there that's yeah. been done. And you're always trying to be like. How how's my what's my way in basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, one of my goals was making one of the main villains uh, transgender. Really? Hmm. And you're paying it away. En it ended up working out in a way where it's not that. It, okay. it but it's 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 unique. It actually I ideas. I yeah. Get it. Sure. But I actually had a conversation with a friend who is transgender, yeah. and I was finding out things about. Uh, the obstacles that person had to go through. So sure. my friend went from being a woman to now a male. Right. So I'm like seeing the world both sides. So I was like, oh, okay. So I asked a lot of questions and I was like, oh, you're giving me a lot of good content. But nice. it didn't turn out that the character was transgender. Uh, but the character has a unique element. I'm not going to give it away. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Keep us in suspense. The, the, the character has a unique element, but not, yeah. But... It's inspired by transgenders. Is, hey, I think that's the way to say it. That's great. And then, um, way, man. and then, uh, but yeah, then there's other little characters that I have too, like, <clears throat> and um, just tying it all together. But it's kind of like they're not direct heroes. They're more like anti heroes. Anti heroes. Because yeah, yeah. every time they do something good, they kind of F it up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Every time. I guess it's kind of it. like, oh, that guy down the street's a child molester, you know, like, good to know and the things and gruesome things they do to him uh to to the point of like well prostitutes and cocaine so like so like <laughs> so are they really good or well, are you're they not, not right about my neighborhood i'm okay so, I'm all right. i don't know if you're on true facts but it's like, oh, what this if your neighborhood? the hell's angels like no, went no, good no. for a little bit actually i'm That's making them kind of more it. ruthless than like oh, okay any of those i've actually uh Looked into like Hell's Angels and nice. Pagans and sure. like all these different other wow. organizations and stuff like that. And so like that's that's actually another element because I wanna not not go over the top with it because right. I think SOA like 
has really kind of given us like the you know theatrical kind of inside sure, track sure. to that mm-hmm. lifestyle i want to have certain aspects of it, like your prospects things like that but sure it's just a vehicle to get that that story out but i sure. do want i do want to talk a little bit about them being a biker gang but the fact i'm setting it in the future i will tell you the set the settings like in the future but it's like like a almost post apocalyptic kind of hmm. future nice so like it's almost like the 70s again um there's an old show and this will date date me on my age brave star <laughs> I don't remember that show at all. Do you, I remember, remember Braveheart? Brave Star was no, about no relation. I know he <laughs> was a he was a space sheriff, and he was sent <laughs> to the same makers of uh, He Man. He was a space sheriff who was sent to a planet called New Texas. <laughs> okay. For, now wait, is this was this a cartoon? <laughs> this is an actual okay. cartoon. Okay. They only did like one, one like and a half season. Like a filmation cartoon, gotcha. yeah. kind of like yeah. He-Man was. Yeah, it was the same company. Yep. Okay, uh, Hanna-Barbera. So, you know, right before you said cartoon, I was going to ask you if it took place in the same universe as Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. No. Oh, crossover. <laughs> crossover. But Thank I've never you. heard of Space Cop. <laughs> that's too much. But <laughs> yeah, he, that's Brave guy. Star. That's Brave Star. Yeah, and... <laughs> That's nice. Canada Dry at its best. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, before I interrupt you, you're I Not, tell you this all the time. You're a Renaissance man. You're well, thanks. Artist, musician, podcaster. I just keep myself That's busy. Cool. I just, I, I just weird stuff that I like to do. I don't. I don't know. You have to let us know when it uh, finally well finally drops. That sounds interesting. I already have a book out. Yeah. Okay. But I co-wrote it, so my friend Austin wrote that one. Like he actually physically wrote it, mm-hmm. but it was based off a storyline I already have. So when it's all said and done, I have three other stories. Okay, that when you when it's all said and done, you're gonna find out they're all in the same universe. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. like um, they all kind of mixed together. Yeah, but it won't. They won't link up for a while. Gotcha. Long time. So like I gotta get I gotta get through this one. Sure. And then, man has and, plans. Yeah, and then that's okay. You build oh, the yeah. foundation, so you want it to be strong, and then mm-hmm. well, the timelines on. makes it challenging because sure, that's sure. that's a part that's further in the future, a part of the book I already have. Right. Sure. And then there's one that's way before that. Wow. And then another, yeah, yeah, I'm another dimension. It. It's like an MCU universe. Dave. It, well, yeah, I'm all inspired sorry. by that stuff. Dave, <laughs> Dave. tell us about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Make shit up. Seems really boring now, doesn't it? No. No, because, nope. because when that releases, he's going to need maybe some marketing. Oh, yes. And then, yes. Da, da, da. take it away, Dave. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that, that was your intro. I looked really hard at can I, Can I describe yeah. no, 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 what no, no. Dave is wearing? seconds on that in my head. I love what Dave is wearing. I'm jealous of what Dave is wearing. Yeah. No, it's... Uh... It's comfort at its best. Love it? Is that what that means? Uh, no, yeah, well, no, I got it at an IT conference years ago. So oh, I love IT, but I would just say love it. <laughs> um, John love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> John love it. <laughs> so, no, no, no. So, uh, yeah, no, I run uh, Nexus 6. And we won uh, Best Marketing Agency <coughs> in Des Moines last week. Congratulations. Woo! Is that for uh, City View? Yeah. Take nice. a bow. That's awesome. Very nice. That's yes. So cool. And tell <laughs> us how it became Nexus 6, the name. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No, it's uh, it's pretty nerdy. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're yeah, you're amongst friends. friends yeah. <laughs> no, so we uh, so we named it after, uh, um, we got the inspiration from Blade Runner. Nice. So the uh, Nexus model of androids kind of went through a series and they kind of kept getting better. Until you got to the Nexus 6 model, which was kind of that perfect blend between technology and the human element, which largely I felt, we felt, well, I felt when I started the company, um, was kind of missing from current marketing. It was just so stiff and robotic and, you know, didn't really, mm. you know, real people, not actors. And it's like, no, they're, no, they're fucking actors because nobody in their real, like, real life talks like that. Right, right. Plus, actually, and also, it was kind of cool because the Nexus 6 models became more human after they were given kind of memories nice. or stories. So and that's what we do is we, we're storytellers. 
Hey, that's crazy. So what's uh, what's some of the things that you've worked on then? <clears throat> oh, lots of stuff. Just all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we are. Yeah, no, you're fine. No, yeah, I mean, we. Um, I'm just trying to think. I mean, so we uh, we kind of pro bono helped out a um, struggling sandwich shop up in Urbandale. Okay, hungry okay. boys, hungry boys. Okay, yeah, so nice. We kind of redid their um, kind of their whole theme to what they do so we renamed all their sandwiches gave them ridiculous names and oh i love those cool oh yeah that, man. those are pretty cool yeah. yeah when you go out like that that's cool because that so. brings that you know interesting factor and people remember that stuff and it's not yes. like witch witch or right. pot bellies you know you got... right 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 and then we also made a video for um a non-profit for them to take to dc to lobby for more money from congress oh wow yeah Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So no, and then we're kind of picking up bigger and bigger clients all the time. We got, uh, as I was saying, we got a, um, a proposal going out to the Des Moines Menace, the soccer team. Sure. Next, this upcoming week, um, and then the following week, we've actually got a meeting secured with the marketing department of Iowa State University. Whoa, that's fantastic! Yeah, yeah that's yeah. huge. That's great. And also West End Salvage, right? You yeah, oper- you yeah, operate yeah. out of there, which is Yeah, so our office is based out of West End Salvage, so we do all their stuff as well. They do some cool office uh centric uh, videos, you sure. know, like uh So you probably saw a lot of the candidates uh, last week then. Uh scrolling through. Um, yeah, no, I Oh yeah, from our Iowa caucus. You know? Yeah. I avoided going to the office on those days. <laughs> I don't blame you. They shared a cool video though of the whole NBC process was, of building the desk and everything. Yeah, and fucking NBC was out of the, it was so many damn people there. Yeah. Took a a lot of work goes into just an hour broadcast. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. And then Joy Reed was in the room next to my office. I was on her phone talking to somebody. And then her and her staff were sitting there. <clears throat> I was like, shut up. I'm trying to work. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know who I am? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm politicking. You know who I am? Like, oh, I do. Can I get your autograph? Like, yes. Do you have a marketing award? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what you do that's what you do yeah. well yeah like we said before um, I said before uh, Juan and Dave and I uh, do the Super Unknown which is a uh, sister podcast to Field of Geeks under, oh, yeah. under the same network banner uh, we cover the I would say super- Siamese Twin Siamese Twin okay yeah you could say I that. that the forehead there you go forehead <laughs> I was thinking hip I like that though split personality <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just cover- envisioning this right now <laughs> so do we have two arms or do we have four there you go. Oh, we got everything. It's like Hydra. We're, yeah, we're just joined at the forehead. Ooh. Hey, that's a good slogan. You are a marketing guy. What if you were joined at the forehead and then somehow, some way, the body's melded again and then you, you know, oh, like you kind of had, out. like you were kind of a donut. <laughs> oh, man. You were kind of a per- two person guys always donut. Melt. We lived. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, gross. So the Super Unknown covers uh, what if Supernatural. You were the foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Good thing we're Do explicit. you pee? Is that on or in? Do not pee. Where do you? But I have to pee. Well, where do we get? How do we get rid? How do you get rid of your? You know what? The doctors of the time were too too afraid to work on the foreskin. You got it on my knee. Just circumcise one of them. Oh no! Any anyway, super unknown. Well, I'm trying to say this. We, we cover Supernatural, which is kind of, kind of is the natural, the mysterious, and a lot more. It's under the Field of Geeks the banner. The conjoined twin us. of the Field of Geeks. There you yeah. go. There you go. So, gentlemen, we had a Super Bowl last week. Foreskin. Yes. I don't know if anyone cares about the Super Bowl. You sickos. What? It's a legit thing that could happen. This is dangerous. You three <laughs> So Back in the 80s. Who watched the Super Bowl? I did. I, I did. I watched it. Yes, Dave? Big big football fan? <laughs> <clears throat> no. Sorry. Are Canadians allowed to watch football? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the CFL. Yeah. Wait, you're from Canada? Yeah. yeah. No shit. That's oh, what makes it awesome. Yep. That's why it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see the aura of maple syrup? And I'm actually... No, nope, no BS. Yeah. I'm, I'm very fascinated with Canadians. They're like... They are some of the nicest they're, people. They're very intriguing people. Yeah. But they hate... Americans coming in to work. <coughs> That's all that I know. I have no, 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 no. The only reason why I know this is because I have a friend that actually um, remotes from from uh, Minnesota 
and sometimes he has to go up to Canada to work there because he works for a company that does um, medical equipment. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. And so when you're flying up there, you have to go through customs. Well, customs always asks you the question, okay, why are you here? And if you say work, then they start really grilling you. So, Mm -hmm. you know, how long are you going to be here? What kind of work are you doing? Right. And it's it's one of those things where they're they don't like a lot of jobs getting taken away from you Canadians. know like, yeah sure, so sure no, and it, no, the American. extremely nice everywhere. people i've yeah. i've i have a a client that i drive that's extremely nice that is from canada and couldn't be couldn't be nicer so well for those yeah. who don't know uh Juan and dave in the audience uh uh, Mitch has a another job, which he yeah. badass limo driver. So, oh, that's awesome! Yes, yeah. been doing that for nine years now. You got one with a hot tub? What's no, <laughs> no? I, we do have never a limo in the ask, stories man. I could tell on that one, but <laughs> that's <laughs> another story. What place do you work at? Uh, Majestic Limousine. They were they were just awarded over yeah. at uh, yeah. City Views. You should write a book. Award off. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, Mitchell, you just yeah. gave me some writing ideas about the most. That's not a podcast. It's like, yeah. is, uh, this is when he retires from the business. And we What's just the, go what, what they have? You used to have a show, uh, <clears throat> uh, Taxi Cab Confessions. Confessions. Yeah. yeah. So you got limo confessions? Well, there was one guy that I picked up that wanted to pick up his wife at the airport. And it was just kind of special. She had been gone for a long time and all that stuff. And he was being nice and romantic and all that. And uh, up goes the divider, which I'm happy that it happens, you know, because I don't want to know what's going on back there. But Is that you doing it or him? No, no, no. You have the controls back there. You can control everything. He's like talking to you like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and he's like, once we, once we pick her up, just drive around a little bit. So I'm like, okay, so I'll drive downtown. And we get stopped in like Court Ave, and the vehicle starts shaking. And I'm like, God damn it. Yes. I know what's going on. And I call yes. Allie, my wife. I'm like, bow, chicka, bow, wow. if there's stuff that I have to clean up, I'm not doing it. I was like, there better be some rubber gloves or something. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, when I drop them off, the, guy, the lady runs into the house, not just like walks runs and the guy like hands me a 20 real quick and runs into the house i'm like great <laughs> <laughs> is she gonna haunt yeah <clears throat> yeah sweet could you just pull down the divide <laughs> yeah there is uh it's funny because the divider actually has two uh dividers one's glass see-through and then the one is an actual like Divider, divider, so you can't see anything. But you're like, shit. Which switch is which? I will yes. say this though: even though the divider goes up, the sound does not stop. So it's like an echo machine in the limo. Uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> how do you... so for all no. those wondering, if you like brought the, the divider down, it's like what coaching? <laughs> yeah, you just be like, oh no, you're doing great, you're doing yeah. great, so maximum like effort right there. No. Yeah. If you, uh, yeah, that's a porno right there. May I give he, a hint? <laughs> I would. I, I like. I like your choice of angles. But if you just lift that right leg, yeah, you got something. I like the dangle of the angle. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, this is a family vehicle. What are you doing back there? Are you guys playing Twister? Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Don't get it on your sock. Oh, <laughs> oh god, that's, that's another. We'll that's gonna to make. That's show. gonna make. That's gonna make sense later. Yes. Yes. If you, tune <laughs> you tune into the super. Unknown, yes, it will. It will. So uh, back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, let's go. Favorite moments. Uh, commercials probably were mostly the favorite moments, unless you're a big Chiefs fan. Like I'm happy for the Chiefs. <clears throat> right. I, I rooted for him. But um, two commercials that came to my mind was the Jason Momoa commercial. Yes. That Doesn't was... he look like that uh, guy from Megalocalypse? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Talking about murder face. Yes. Well, not murder face. Um, the, oh yeah, that. the the singer, the clown. Yeah. Not 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 the clown. The guy that uh, has like kind of the comb over hair and the long and yeah, oh, I can't true. think of his name. Yeah. But he's got. He looks exactly like him. Pickles. But were you, yes. Did, were you disturbed Pickles. by yeah. it? Like I, I I was, but I still enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. Uh, him just ripping off his arms, and he's like got these little. Little tiny arms. I think it's, arms. I thought it was a genius advertisement. I thought it, it was, was one of the better commercials. Was. I was I just trying to think what uh, what were they selling? It was a, it's a mortgage ad. So oh, okay. I guess, really? I guess when he's at home, he can be himself. That's the idea, and so he just huh. unwinds. Really? I do. Uh, hats off to his wife, Lisa Bonet. She she cameoed in the. Commercial. Oh yeah, I saw her in there. Which is like that's a good that's a good um, good spirit, you know, because she's uh, usually pretty uh, private and you know. Yeah, after uh, the Cosby Show, she kind of. Well, yeah. 
there was a, like a lot of reasons, but yeah, she uh, oh, she yeah. was in it. That was really cool. It was a cool scene. He's trying to he's trying to lift weights, and uh, she's helping him. Yeah, she's spotting, spotting him. him. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty funny. So, side note, he looks like comes pickles. To West End a lot. You're kidding. My mom? Yeah. yeah. When he's in town, of course. Yeah. yeah. How so often next is time he... he's in there, I was I'm gonna see if we can uh, get a video of me trying to wrestle him. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. He'll kick your nice ass. Nice guy. Probably. Not if he looks like that. He seems to be. <laughs> Huh. Don says he's really nice, but maybe maybe you can give him one of our cards. And be like, hey, this is a good interview show. You should uh, yeah, check I'll it get out. him on there. Yeah, I'm that'd gonna be say, awesome. I'm gonna say I'm gonna ha- dress up as Aqua, like uh, Ocean Master, Aqua Lad, Ocean Master. <laughs> like, bring it. You gotta look at you gotta dress up like the traditional, you know, Aquaman, mm-hmm. like with all the green, oh, and dude, yellow. You should totally get like the spandex suit. Yes, that would be yeah, awesome. Like, I am the true Aquaman. <laughs> 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 Sea master, yes. So <laughs> Offer him some trident gum. Mm. <laughs> you'll be, you'll be on your level. I then. talk to sharks. <laughs> yes. uh, the Release Jeep, the kraken. The Groundhog Day. Have you guys seen that movie, Groundhog yes. Day? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. The Jeep commercial. For that, that was good. That was funny. They brought back old actors from. Yeah, they the brought the other actor back. The guy. Ned that, Ryerson looked exactly the same. He didn't yeah. look like he aged at all. No. Nope. And the mayor of the town is actually Bill Murray's uh, brother. Brother, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and same uh, uh, ground. Is he older or younger than Bill? Uh, he's older. Uh, okay. He's older. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, it was uh, not... There was other commercials. Uh, there was a Mountain Dew, uh, no uh, yeah zero or something. Mountain Dew Zero. That was, was funny. About the time they made Mountain Dew Zero. It's not too bad. It uh, doesn't have a bad after. That's the guy from diet. Breaking Bad. That was it. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh my God. What's his name? Brian Cranston. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah, that was all right. It was shining. It was uh, funny. Yeah, Here's yeah. Mountain Dew Zero. Yeah. Well, thank it you. It was kind of eerie. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know. Was there any other commercials that come to mind? There was another commercial I saw that I can't... If it comes to me, I'll I'll, I'll bring it up. Well, what that, sucks now is everything's released before the Super Bowl. Yeah, so, so you really don't need to watch Super no Bowl. no more fun in like... Oh, the, you get to the two that this. comes to mind for me was the... Uh, um, the is it later yet? Where they play that that theme joke the entire way through the Super Bowl? Oh, um, oh yeah, oh with yeah. Charlie Day, yeah, yeah, What's Charlie, that? Charlie yeah. Day from uh, yeah, uh, oh, from yeah. Molly Sunny, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then that damn Google commercial, man, that one got me in tears. It's like every freaking oh, that time was I saw it, sad, yeah. yeah, the guy remembering his old wife, like all the photos and things like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, like she okay. passed away, and he could go to Google to see all their moments. So. Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> that, that, that's a good advertisement for him. Fuck on. you, Google. <laughs> Instead of hey, Google, you know? say, Fuck you, you Google. And then, and then, <laughs> Bing, backwards. Bing. Fuck, fuck you, Google. Google. To activate Bing, you have to go, Hey, fuck you, Google. What would you like today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Subtitle to that, you make me feel shit. Yeah. Fuck you, Google. How did I feel feelings anymore? <laughs> hey, How do I go Google. back to being a prick? <laughs> oh, oh, just, I'm serious. I think I want to take back to the hot phrase on the phone. Do it. Oh, fuck you, Google. It never listens to me when I say, hey, Google. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, no, it's not listening. No, it, it nope, didn't pick it up. No, but then I'll be like, Rabbits and they're like, how can I help you? Like, what? <laughs> I don't even talk to my man. My doesn't even know what the hell it's talking about most of the time. Oh yeah, no, it's just like. Bleh. Yeah, uh, you got me. <laughs> My phone's like, you got me. Uh, why don't you ask Bing? Hey. Why, don't you, <laughs> why are you asking me all these questions? Showing you images for connected at the fourth game. I'm, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god. And you know when it like re- reconfirms that you right? Is this what you're looking for? Question. Is this what you're looking for? Making me feel shit. To see this. <laughs> well. I, have I 20, guess I am. I have 27 searches for connected I'm in, I'm in the <laughs> <laughs> Clear And the best thing is like it happens. You, you and then like your significant other is right next to you. I'm like, what's what's that? And you, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the foreskin? <laughs> Would you like to search in incognito mode? <laughs> hey, fuck you, Google. <laughs> fuck you, Google. <laughs> You know, <laughs> fuck you, Google. Oh my god! <laughs> like, I did not want foreskin. 
Bang! A better way to search. <laughs> that reminds me, we've been trying to we've been trying to do ads lately. Yeah, we and, should uh, definitely do one for do Google. Yeah. Yes, yes, or Bing. Uh, yeah. Or, 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 or. <laughs> Has this ever exist? happened to you? Bing still exists? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bing's yeah. going strong. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't know anyone that uses Bing. Do well, I don't either. We're going to add. We yeah. Need, we need Dave or somebody to... Yeah, we should totally have, like, uh, you know, that guy that always used to go, Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> hey, hey, Google. How did this dispose of a body? <laughs> I think you're looking. How? I think you're looking for teenage Japanese girls. <laughs> what? With dicks. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> With foreskin. <laughs> I found 27 searches for lady boys. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Fuck you, Google. Oh, fuck you, Google. Well, in Rome. When in Rome. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, yeah, that needs to be the tagline of our show. I know. I know. Either fuck you, Google, or connected at the Foreskin episode 143. I'm trying to get us back on. Trying to get all right. Back on all right. Track. Sorry. So, anyway. <laughs> That needs to be a t-shirt. <laughs> Stand by for station identification. You like the ad? No, we started a, we started a t-shirt company. Did you? Yeah. Will you make me a fuck you Google t-shirt? Yeah, I'm going to get fuck you. <laughs> and I want a picture of a foreskin. <laughs> oh my god. Just a picture of a foreskin with no reason and then underneath it just says, Hey, fuck you, Google. <laughs> the only thing that would make that really go over the top is if you really did the Silence Twin thing and it, <laughs> the tips are touching. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He even said that he's like, I want to have some like, mini content for <laughs> That was for the other one, <laughs> which is not a good timing to do. The other thing is a little bit more serious. Oh, God. Anyway, anyway. Oh, 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 oh sweaty. I know. I know. Brian. I know. <laughs> Moving on. We're on the track. All right. On the track. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting on the track. Back on the track. That's All good right. stuff. That's good stuff. I want to oh. talk about a uh, Toyota winner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jody Berry, she's a Hooters waitress. Oh, no oh. pause for any laughs or jokes. No, actually, good food. Nah. Hooters on the fourteenth Valentine's Day, giving away free. We don't have a Hooters, so yeah, we used to. Yeah, have we a do. Hooters. Someone we told don't. me that we do. Where? What? We used to at work. Jethro's. It was. Uh, yeah, someone said it's out. Twin Peaks. No, they're saying low. It's out there in um, Jordan Creek area. What? What? I don't know. When did that, that open? If if there is a Hooters in town, Des Moines, that is. Uh, they give away free wings for single people. So, really? I'll be single for that day. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, no, look, 22nd. That's the only one. So if you have a significant other, just be like, hey, honey, uh, stay home. <laughs> no, the so only one that I I'm see here is uh, Twin Peaks. That might be what you're thinking of, maybe. No, it's an advertisement. Really? But then I asked uh, some uh, people at my job, and they were like, no, there's a Hooters. And maybe I'm like, they meant to say ex-Hooters employees are at Twin Peaks. <laughs> Twin Peaks? Have you been to Twin Peaks? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> they know him by name multiple times. One. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Twin Peaks. Yeah. Can you just walk over there and walk back, please? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I put in our zip code. That's on the dessert menu, isn't yeah. it? I just. Why? Why do you need me to walk over there, sir? Uh, just please. Just do it. Just, just do it. Okay. I've had a bad day. <laughs> this is all I've got. Yeah. I Spent in... the morning talking about four skins, and I'm just done. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. Oh, Fuck you, this? Google. Oh, I think we need to... We have to take a... Uh, like a... There is a Hooters? No, but we're going to have to take a little trip. Jesus. Hello. I don't know. She... What's he look like? Sweetheart's... Well, he... <clears throat> he's like, very healthy. That's not a family restaurant. <laughs> oh. Depends on what kind of family you, you have. No, no, no. Yeah, no. You got to go over to Twin Peaks. It's like if you have like lingerie. If it's just you, ties. yeah. Is is you and your like two uncles and your brother considered family? That's family. I take my family there. Family. As each one puts their face in the breasts of the chicken. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. and the thigh. 
Well, anyway, I want to talk about this particular Hooters waitress, yes. Jody Berry again. Mm. Okay. So management wanted to organize a contest, you know, to get the competition going amongst the staff. And so whoever sold the most beer in a month would win a Toyota. She worked her ass off and won. And they finally came the day for the prize. They blindfolded her. They took her in the parking lot. And her prize was revealed. <clears throat> and it was a Toyota. Brutal. And she quit and sued. And she's won. <clears throat> Brutal. So now she can actually buy a Toyota. So brutal. What would if this happened to you? Would you? I've I've heard this before on a radio show where like you can win a hundred grand and oh, and it's like a candy bar, it's a candy bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think this is hilarious, but also I I guess I would understand she probably worked really hard. Misleading, <laughs> you know, it's very misleading. Right, right, right. Unless they actually spelt they put toy and Yoda together, and it was never Toyota. It was Toyota. So anyway, hmm. she wasn't too happy in the picture. She doesn't look happy in no, that picture. She does not. She, she does not. not look like a happy Hooters girl, and that's never good. No, no, no. She worked at Hooters. That's that's the, yeah, yeah. She's behind like, the, in yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> she's <laughs> she's. <laughs> <laughs> well, she could have been a bartender because she sold the most beer. So. She can I can I say she's Hooter server challenged? Yeah, you know she's. Uh, yeah, you can. I'm not gonna say anything. a junior associate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Now it's like the feel. I need the fuck. I need <laughs> fuck you, Google. <laughs> T-shirt when I go to Hooters <laughs> next time. Like he's doing a kissy lip uh, oh, thing yeah, here in his little doll uh, box. She's well, got. it came with a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, it is. Lightsaber. <laughs> is it not? Is it, it a lightsaber? Yeah, it, it is. It's oh, I, it looks, looks kind like of else. Yeah, looks like something. No, Star Wars got yeah. into the adult entertainment forum. Mm. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> that uh, is something you could probably sell. Isn't it right? looks provocative. Yeah. That's probably something you can Google and find. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yes, yes. Force is with you. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine. Out and in, in and out. <laughs> mm. Connected by the force. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> we can't escape this. We can't escape this. Hey, man. <laughs> she, she, she doesn't look satisfied. No. <laughs> Yeah, she's probably mad at you guys. She doesn't look satisfied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh this is going to be our most sexist show. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> what did I the say? The demographic is going down. No. Like, it's either going to be a lot of editing on my part. Or yeah. Stuff no, funny. no. Yeah, there's going to be welcome to Field of Geeks. All right, that's our this, show. This wasn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is Josh. Yeah. I didn't say these things. See Take it away, boys. This is what happens when you put me and Dave in the same room. Yeah, and then Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> like We're just encouraging Mitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. So, moving on. <clears throat> Spiral, guys. Do yeah. we see this teaser trailer? Wait, is that 50 Cent or is that... That's uh, Chris Rock. You think that's 50 Cent? Well, the picture from the angle. Okay. 50 this Cent's picture, head is so much rounder. That that oh, picture yeah, at that the bottom kind of looks, looks, like, yeah, looks like, him. like him. So, any Saw fans here? Any Saw fans? Oh. You know, I like watching them, but I get halfway through and I cringe so much I end up I, watching I the rest the first of it. One. I stopped yeah. after two. Yeah, and there's eight of them. Yeah, I, I love the first one. two. I like Jigsaw, and I, I could feel like after two is going to get like bad. So like I just stopped. each one progressively got okay. What can we do to make people cringe? Still and make money though. Probably oh, I know. Cheaply made. Well, they were. I mean, the plot line was just kill people. It and was that kind of was, nice. Yeah. It came out like every Halloween. It seemed. And yeah, it was kind of like a, you know, like we at least had a movie for Halloween. Was I it Saw three or four that had a certain number of movie posters that actually had real blood for the oh, the I red never, dye that they used? They mixed blood in that. with it. Never yeah. Heard that. Yeah, there was like a certain number of posters that actually went out to movie theaters that the the red that they used was mixed with actual human blood. Jesus, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Nexus Six wouldn't do that shit, would they, Dave? Fuck that, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I want to play a game. There you yes. go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty good. It is. Thank it you. is. I was the one who always made the phone calls. <laughs> I, I, I'm just on the video. I'm restraining myself from saying, you know, pulling the Siamese twins apart. Oh, no. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
That's how you. That's how you got that for those posters. So when this broke, this <laughs> broke that Chris Rock had idea to revitalize the Saw franchise. And a lot of people were just kind of laughing at it and stuff. But this has kind of been a new trend. Like we had the Halloween 2017, which is you know nostalgia <clears> with uh, more realism and humor. I guess. Yeah. Say. Danny McBride, in it, was that? Yeah, he wrote it. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't in it, but yeah. But no, he's like traditionally funny, and then he did a whole right, movie. right, right. So anyway, this is Chris Rock's turn, basically. Um, I'm Let's, not really buying him as a badass. I know there's some. He's just badass cop. It seems you know he's driving a nice sports car and all that, but yeah, this expression here is kind of like it looks like he has to take a shit. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Chris Rock? Do you think he pulls this I off? Think, yeah, I think he's. I think he'll do well. I think I'd do well. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'd be interested to see. I think if they got more into the psychology of it, <clears> like, <throat> Seven was a better Saw film. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, seven, yeah. Seven was a better Saw film, even though it didn't have anything to do with Saw. Right. Like, it was better because it was more of the psychology than just the, the fucking gross fact. Maybe that's what the that's the route they're taking here. I'd hope so. Because it's very, like, uh, you know, from the cop's perspective, it looks like. Yeah, kind of like the I mean, first, but there the first was, one. There's the like one that. scene where they had the thing that pulled the people's fingers off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like well, it's like yeah. seven. It's like seven. They're discovering these people in these situations. You don't. You're not with the people when they experience it maybe as much as the other films. But yeah, it's like, I mean, I it's like just, from the cops' point of view. Just, <clears throat> so, like for me, um, for me, gore and horror is like um, shock comedy. It's lazy. Well, and it's digital now, so it looks kind of... It's fake. lazy if it uses music to excite the fa- the audience, you know, the bass that's going to watch like, it. you're, trying to scare people just through how gory something can be... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's just fucking lazy. Right. You know? Yeah, like, I think... I prefer, it, to, I prefer, like, building it up and you're actually... You're I, I'm in the same oh, vein shit. as you. I like I like movies like Seven. I like movies like Get Out. Seven was so... Where you, you have to think. It's not so much, like... The gore seems necessary. Like Seven was an emotional buildup, though. That's what made it so good. Yeah, man. because he made, the he made yeah. Brad Pitt become the executioner. Right. You know, at the end, it didn't have a happy ending. Oh, yeah. did I? No. That just oh, spoiler. God. If you haven't oh, seen it, spoiler. if you haven't seen it now, yeah, spoiler. And the way Fincher directed <laughs> that was just incredible. I love his direction. Like yeah. he, he did the uh, girl with the dragon tattoo. You know that I just like the whole way he shoots things. It's like a wide lens and. Just Very really, dark, yeah. Yeah, and rich, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's a good point. I never thought of Seven kind of being the prelude to the Saw films in a way. Maybe that's what the intention was, but... This Seven is probably, Daily uh, Sins. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think, in, like, in the first two, because I've seen the first two, Jigsaw's goal was, like, he's a survivor of cancer. And then his goal was to people who didn't see the value in their life. Mm-hmm. he's giving them now he forces them to have a choice like mm-hmm. you can die like you said you wanted to or do you really want to live right that's basically his agenda right yeah right. with everybody like oh okay yeah so you don't think you're worth anything out he's like if you want to live i'm gonna earn it you know because mm-hmm. he had to earn it from surviving cancer and all that i don't think he's the character anymore no but the doll is there so it's like a copycat so um i don't recall yeah yeah yes yeah, so the spoiler alert i know the guy who in the first film which we got chris rock here uh, homage to the first film when um the doctor guy was uh handcuffed and he had to choose to like cut off a you know uh his hand to escape <coughs> that guy in the original <coughs> saw film who uh, uh, i can't remember who played him but he he was uh he was Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. That, that actor. Yeah. Is it Gary Owens or something like that? You know, no. No. Really I know who you're talking about, though. Anyway, yeah. he, uh, <clears throat> he saw the other films. He actually became the copycat of was Jigsaw. Wasn't he, he Princess Bride? Yes, yeah, he, he was, was in there, there too. Okay. Yeah. So he became the killer. So I don't know if they're carrying that over to this um, or not, but yeah. I think it's in the same universe. It is. A, it is. It's not a. Uh, Direct sequel. sequel, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's going to be tough reboot. though because <clears throat> these kind of movies are hard to get a fan base going. You know, well, the originals had a pretty good fan base. They I, did, I, but it probably wasn't as strong because I know they had like, uh, didn't they have Jigsaw? Was that that was one of the films? Yeah, this was like I think that, that was the last the one. Final yeah. chapter, and then it was uh, sorry, <clears throat> final chapter, and then <clears throat> Jigsaw. Every, but if you look at it like the classic uh, 
the uh, movie uh, monsters, whatever, like uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, they were reborn eventually in their own franchise. So I could see this kind of being like a rebirth, the new chapter, if you will. Yeah. Um, but but a different take. Not sure. I think Rock has a few ideas to to go uh, after this. You know, to go into more movies after this. Yeah, Gary was his name. L El- Elwood. No, Carrie. 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 Elways. Elways. Okay. Yep. So he was the doctor in the first saw. Cut his arm <clears> off, <throat> his hand, and <clears throat> crawled away. Yeah. And it was revealed the jigsaw guy was in the room the whole time underneath the the body or something. Oh, weird. Anyway, so they do like a flashback the last movie, I think, mm. and it's actually showing him like turning evil. Like after he mm. left that room. Jigsaw basically made him, him a copycat, I guess. Interesting. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know if that's carried over in this, but I hope it's successful. I think Rock's a very talented guy. You know, top five was his last. He can be good film. Yeah, yeah, he can be when he's not always on, on Adam Sandler. Oh, films. Show, Mitch. Yeah, yeah. No. Moving on, Fast and Furious Nine trailer came out. Um, Oof. Big reveal. I don't know who's a big fan or Han. fan of the franchise, but Han's back. Uh, he was killed off oh, yeah. in Tokyo Drift. I love me some Hans, like, yeah, my guy. Well, I think they brought him back. I don't know if they He always... came back before that, I thought. Uh, no. Like, well, Tokyo Drift, it's weird how they did Tokyo Shit. Drift. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, God. That's okay. Sorry. You got it? Sorry. You got it. It's weird how they did Tokyo Drift. want to headbutt it. So, Tokyo Drift was the third movie to come out, um, but it was, uh, I guess it was really like the, the eighth in line of the... Um, Fast and Furious, they like retconned it. Mm-hmm. So that's why that's how Han could be in the Fast and Furious films. And you're like, well, he already died, you know. Oh. So anyway, they retconned it, and Tokyo Drift was in <clears throat> place after seven or eight or something like that, or I think six or seven. What? Yeah, I know it's very confusing, but it's a huge franchise. I never saw it. You Is know, it like a way. cyborg or something? I who knows? <laughs> but I think they brought it back basically because Jason Jason Statham's character killed him pretty badly, yeah. and now he's considered kind of part of the family if you will they had Hobbs and Shaw yeah that was a spin-off series was that so. any good I didn't see it oh okay I didn't see it uh it was like uh, 10 bucks at Target I almost almost tempted to buy it just to see I, I uh, think it's it did pretty good it looked like a modern day Tango and Cash yeah I mean it looked so like it, it did pretty like well a terrible thing but they're yeah. basically like live action cartoons anymore mm-hmm. you know well yeah like I'm saying like I know that uh uh Idris's character in uh Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, he's like he's got like soldier. super power. Yeah, he's got like superpowers. So oh, like, weird. well, and that's what I'm saying. Could Diesel, Han be a, a cyborg? Yeah. <laughs> Diesel stomp, stomped concrete in one of the Fast films. I mean, it's just it, and the collisions they go through, and they just walk it off. The it, cars the drive through skyscraper. That's yeah. what threw uh, me yeah. off. Like I'm yeah. like, how do you do that? Well, watching yeah. this latest yeah. trailer, I had that. I had the one moment I yeah. it shouted out loud. <laughs> I shouted out loud to myself, fuck off. And it was when he was like, fuck you, go, go. No, he goes off the cliff. Yeah. He goes off the cliff and he clips like uh, part of a bridge and they swing Tarzan style with the car. And he's just looking all badass while they're doing it. I'm like, wouldn't you be shitting yourself? I mean, these oh, yeah. characters wouldn't be because they're used to it. Well, they're superheroes. They're yeah. pretty much super- the superheroes so with cars. I don't know if he like calculated Two that. Hours, huh? Clipping that uh, bridge, or it was magnetized. Mm-hmm. They have a magnet on. The there will become now. a time where they do this in outer space, and that's when they're going to uh, stop. Well, they're space force. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're trying to do ten films, so they'll definitely do that. And they also have spinoffs like <clears throat> Hobbs and Shaw, and then they also have like a a, a cartoon series on Netflix. No, oh, no. Which, uh, yeah, it's uh, Spy Racers. Oh dear. So well, I don't it, know. Is it's, it supposed it, to be Spy Racers? Is supposed to be a part of it? Yeah, it's Fast and Furious Spy Racers. Mm. So, yeah. Sweet. So yes. anyway, I don't know. You guys, watching you guys dig these films? I mean, they're ridiculous. They're fun to watch. They're I fun, mean, it's like a Saturday morning. You you're can't, waking you up can't take a party series. on Friday, and no, you're that's the key. It. I got to be honest. I think I've seen more Saw films than I have Fast and Furious. Yeah. There's just as well, and they're the type of films like if you miss like if you don't see the newer ones, then yeah. you're totally out of sync. Oh, with really? Like, what what they're doing? Well, yeah, because the first three. We're pretty much all street racing, and then they got into like the heist territory, and now they're saving the fucking world. Oh right? yeah, yeah. They are bringing another character back from three, the main character in three. Oh, the not kid. Vin Di- yeah. Good. I hope because so. he was in the commercial as well. So they brought Han. Good. And that kid back. Yeah, the the Texas dude or yeah. whatever. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. actually in 
uh, the last film or the film before when they brought Han's body back, which I'm like, did you guys check the body when you brought it back? <laughs> Are they definitely done with Paul Walker's character? Well, I just talked they're going to bring him back and maybe use his brothers or something. I don't know what they Yeah, they said his brother looks very similar. Well, I could see if they... And they can do the digital enhancement enough, now. It's been enough time. I think they can recast. Don't don't re-digitize <clears throat> Paul Walker. No, no, no. Like, bring in his, his brother and legit say, I'm the brother of... So and so character, or I'm okay with them just recasting. Then, then that way you're not you're yeah. not. They like, did that in Beer Fest, didn't they? Right, yeah. <laughs> Except it was the exact same. <laughs> Except it was the exact same actor, but that was awesome. I think, yeah, it was. I think <laughs> the uh, chug off. Yeah, I, no, but I think I think maybe they planned it that it's been enough time. People aren't so focused on it's got to be Paul Walker. They like they probably just want to see the character again. So I could see them just bringing it back with a different actor, and I'd be okay with it. I think it'd be fine. But I had to course, go into hiding. I did facial <laughs> reconstructive surgery. Well, and did you know John Cena and Vin Diesel are brothers? <laughs> this, oh, snap. In this film, that's oh. a big reveal. They're brothers. So, I don't know. Like adopted? John Cena looks badass. <clears throat> He's probably a half-brother. I don't know. Adopted. It has to be. It has to be adopted. But they're playing the evil brothers, uh, you know, show <clears throat> now. So. It's like a fucking soap opera. It is. <laughs> it is with cars. With cars. Surprised with cars. Vince McMahon hasn't started throwing money at this thing. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Go fuck yourself, Fast and <laughs> <laughs> Everything is go fuck yourself. You tell me, fuck you, Google, and think you're going to get away with it? Yeah. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. In that movie, we're going to hear, fuck you, Google. <laughs> fuck you, Google. They're listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know what. You what, took an illegal uh, right. Fuck you, Google. <laughs> how much how much fakery do you forgive in movies? For instance, uh, you know, like Men in Black, the first one, pretty much kind of real, you know, aside from the aliens and Depends stuff. Depends on the movie. Yeah, I but mean, like, I agree. MIB 2, uh, Will Smith runs into a, like a concrete beam or whatever. Yeah. And he just shakes it off. Like, when movies like actually jump, jump, jump to the shark, if you will. I don't yeah. know what you could say about Fast and Furious, but, you know, they go from kind of realistic to just out there it's like it's kind of like watching skyscraper with the rock when he does that long oh, jump yeah from, which they calculated he would yeah totally like missed. he would have totally i think, I think that's all they could do though like you, you, after you, you only can have so many street races like you gotta like street races were back in the early like yeah late you, 90s. you gotta push People the envelope a little it. bit more because like like me like I want to go if i go into a movie and i'm like i expect anything like okay this movie is going to be ridiculous they're going to do some over the top type stuff, mm -hmm. then like I'm good with it. But like, like they probably didn't, they did the first Fast and Furious. And was like, yeah, maybe we'll be able to get like two movies it was out of point it. Point Break with Cars. That's yeah, they were just like, let's I, see where it exactly, goes. Exactly, exactly. And then it took off, and you know what I'm saying. And then like, yeah. okay, well now we got a second one well, because it, the third one like didn't have the main cast in it. Yeah, it even stalled. The third one kind of killed it for a bit. Yeah, wasn't that Tokyo Drift that made it? Yeah, stalled? Tokyo Drift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like That's that the one felt one. like okay, we're out of ideas. Let's just. Right. Do something, and now something. let's let's jump out of skyscrapers. Let's yeah. Let's let's come out of planes and <laughs> with parachutes. You like, right. have to like let a franchise, I guess, get into that territory, like define physics and the consequences of physics, like running into stuff and not being really hurt, stomping concrete, breaking it, uh, jumping yeah. from one speeding car to another. You know, that's that's all that's happened in these films. It's nuts. Parachuting out of a they got to push the envelope. The yeah, they. I mean, they have no other. Options. Right. It, it, you I mean, can only have like ten races out of three movies. It's kind of like watching the James Bond movies. You know, there's going to be some stuff in there that you know no human would physically be able to do. Right, but it's James the, Bond. Right, you went from the Connery kind of serious, yeah, and, and then as it got popular, kind of got a little bit ridiculous. Like now you've got you've Roger got a Moore. scene where he's jumping from a, um, a bridge or something like that, and he holds onto a rope. Yeah, the inertia alone. I don't know any man that could hold onto a rope right. with that kind of weight i mean and he's not heavy right and and swing i mean mm -hmm. there's some stuff you're just gonna have to throw to the side amazing upper body strength right <laughs> <laughs> he must work out yeah. <laughs> defies the laws of physics wiggle 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 well wiggle, that's wiggle. a good segue <laughs> defining the laws of physics yeah. uh, let's talk about age no gentlemen no lethal weapon five. Oh snap oh, yeah i did not know this i didn't either yes. I, i've heard the rumors for years yeah and they've i think they tried to do a reboot film that and they're still around. This that's wild, man. Yeah, reboot film that's good that thing. failed, and then they had a series with Damon Wayans. Um, I think it lasted two seasons. Maybe. Oh, dude, those two guys, Damon Wayans and the other actor, oh, yeah, they did not get along. Hate each other. Oh, you're kidding? No, I heard the like they have like a like video or not a recorded 
audio oh, bad oh and they're just talking crazy shit to it. oh you're kidding he's like like the the other actor i don't know his name he's like he's a thespian basically yeah he goes he's like uh yeah you wouldn't be shit without your brothers you know that right? <laughs> you, you you came off the vaccine brother he's like, like, in two, like he's like you're too big actor and then and then like they went like Suck my dick, like it's like it's really like, it's like that type of stuff. Like they wow. just they like hate and then like hey we're best buds on this camera. And like oh yeah, let's go save the world. They should get they should get Emmys for just that. <laughs> There's been plenty of movies like that though. I'm sure. Oh yeah. They oh they, oh yeah. dude, you hear the audio? I'll I'll find a link to it. But that when you hear the audio, it's like whoa. Yeah. And you guys had to work with each other. One of the well, it seems- it'd been better if the show even lasted. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think the first one. Uh, I mean, they had there was some chemistry and it seemed to pull it off. Kind of the reason I never thought it was going to be successful. Well, and then they got rid of that actor, and then it was just Damon Wayans. Got Sean William yeah. Scott to yeah. be the a new type of Riggs. Or yeah. Something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it was uh, like um. Uh, it's kind of like uh, what they try to do with the series. Kind of came off like a modern day Miami Vice ish. I guess. Yeah. So. It yeah. didn't feel yeah. that way a little bit. Yeah. Like. Mm-hmm. I remember Miami Vice was just like cool. Like, right. You want to be a cool cop. <laughs> so maybe I, I, I haven't seen the show. Um, but. You've seen the movie, so at least. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of um, how much saxophone was there in the show? <laughs> oh, no, I yeah. might have done it in. Yeah. If there was no saxophone, you're saying it. There was so much sax. Oh, and yeah. I mean, the weapon, like. So much and, sax. <laughs> so much There sax. was. Is there, you I mean... Know, like, when he, like, they shot up his, like, little, uh, you know, his RV on the beach. Yeah. After sax. And then hey, there Kenny sax. G out there. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Or he got shot at the end. There's sax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's just like, every time they were, like, every Sax movie, it up, just, baby. Oh, there's got... What was the first movie? He beat up Gary Busey in the front lawn. Yeah. And then there was sex. The second, yeah, there was sex. <laughs> And then the second movie, right? He gets shot on that boat. He's just all getting shot up, and he's like, "Oh!" And then Murtaugh's like, "Oh no!" Uh. And, then, and then he cuts to sax. And then sax. <laughs> Right. I'm saying like that was it. Like, are, you, are you saying there's I a think, lot of uh, sax? No, scenes no. When I think films? of Lethal Weapon, you think of sax? <laughs> <laughs> there was so much like that was you know Die Hard you don't think of Die Hard and like oh there's a lot of sax riffs going <laughs> right? uh-huh. no, but there's a lot of sax in Lethal Weapon there it's is like, it's, like it's all out. like watch, yeah. watch hey, Lethal Weapon and I be like sax. Oh, who plays the Joe Pesci character, character. Oh, I, agree. I agree who plays the Joe Pesci character I don't think that show. character is brought onto the, the series but um, the whole cast expected to return for this fifth Joe one. Pesci well, that's what they, they say. The whole cast. So it's it like Rick Moran is coming back for Ghostbusters. Well, the thing, <laughs> he's actually coming back for Honey I Shrunk the Kids. I heard that I don't Disney think, Plus I don't think Ghostbusters I, is happening unless they're keeping it very you know tight lipped because yeah. I think he said he's not he's not a part of it. So, but he's coming back for uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, it's a series though, so it's ongoing. So it's probably a bigger paycheck, and it's worth more of his time than to just do a true a, and well, I'm Disney. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. They just backed up a truck of money. They're like, come on, Rick, join us. <laughs> I'm gonna unload it. So, sax player on top. He's like, there's, he's, there's no sax in the first two. Rick, 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 Rick. You Rick's, know what? Sorry, keep talking amongst yourselves. Rick's is Canadian. He's Canadian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where is he? Who, Don't you he's know? He's a funny guy. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. He's somewhere. Do you know Dave? Yeah. It's probably <laughs> like a Timmy's or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ready? Ready? Oh, yep. look. I'm treating Dave look, like he's a Canadian saxophone on. music. That's <laughs> Crank it. Here's the thing. Fuck you, Coco. No, oh, it's guitar. Hang on. Dave, where's the sax, man? I know. There's like, there Give was... us a sax. Well, wait. You got to build up. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. They're in two bathtubs yeah. next to each other. Some yeah. The beach. I'm telling you, man, there's so much sax. And that was not on the TV show. Have you guys seen National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1? Yes. Oh, Have you guys yeah. seen that? That was a great I'm going to say something movie. crazy right now. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Loaded Weapon 1? Loaded Weapon? Why does that ring a bell? It's a parody of Lethal Weapon. Oh, yeah, that's uh, National Lampoon? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Loaded on Netflix Weapon. right now, everybody. Check it oh, out yeah. on Netflix. Oh. Uh, Loaded Weapon. 
Loaded Weapon 1. National Lampoon. They actually named it 1. <laughs> Got my hopes up. Yeah, they had more plans. Before Samuel Jackson like took off yeah. in his career. But. Remember they're riding bikes and then a big explosion happens and they all go flying? It was the guy with the gray hair. Right? Or like they go into Is his that? trailer. It's a comedian yeah. actor with the gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> Samuel Jackson? In no, <laughs> it's a it's a white gentleman. He's got the gray hair. Oh, William Shatner? No, uh, Loaded Weapon. Uh, what? Oh, John Lovitz? No, oh. I'm thinking of something. Wait, else I then. think Loaded Weapon has John Lovitz in it. He does. He's played and it also he plays uh, Pesci's character. Yeah, and he's like, these matches say you're lying, and then they open up the matches and it says you're lying. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So anyway, uh, producer Dan Lin was interviewed <laughs> lately, and that's how news broke about this. He said he's been talking to Richard Donner. There's a story close to his heart, and they're waiting on a script, and it looks like everyone will return. Uh, no word on if Shane Black will write the screenplays. He did that for the, the yeah. other films. Um, last one had Jet Li in it, didn't it? Yeah. 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 It seemed like he played like a cyborg, because yeah. they just couldn't. Dude was insane. Couldn't take him down. Martial arts. Yeah. So, um, Have you seen Jet Li recently? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's looks like a monk. He doesn't. Yeah. He's a he's got some sort of disease though, like some sort of Maybe. yeah. He's in a new Mulan. Well, no, he's got um. It's something That's not to a do disease. with. He's in a movie called Mulan. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, <clears throat> like Crohn's or something. No, it's like a immune know. disease disorder or something like that. But it 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 took him out of the movies because it was starting to affect his health. Oh. He's it, the the pictures that they had in it was for a movie that he was doing, so mm -hmm. it looked like he was way older than what he really is. He just shaved his head and he looked like an old man. Oh, right, like, right. Like, way older than what he should have been. But he is, I mean, he is older, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. he's in his 50s now. But I think he's older than that. Is he? Because he, he I think be. he did like that movie when he was like in his mid-late 30s. Mm. Maybe. I'll you, check. Yeah, I think Cause he was definitely pushing for Jack, it. Jackie, Jackie Chan is like seven, did, 800 years <laughs> old. And, <laughs> he did Romeo Must Die, and I remember he was trying to... He's 56. To, okay. Oh, wow. So That's I mean, a lot younger than I would have given thought i thought it was like 66 not i mean in the be, picture not trying to be like mean that, or yeah anything. no no but um i'm just curious what the story's gonna be about because if you do the math uh murtaugh turned 50 in 84's lethal weapon so his character right now would be um uh let's see 70 wait i'm sorry yeah he'd be 74 years old he's a retired cop yeah he that's nuts me. yeah so yeah and what's <clears> funny <throat> is actually um i think danny glover no, his character would be like in his eighties for sure. Because Danny Glover in real life, he's um, he's much younger. He was only thirty eight when he did Lethal Weapon. He, hmm. wasn't, he wasn't fifty at all. So Mel Gibson <laughs> is sixty four now. So, yeah, Richard Donner will be turning ninety. That's the director. So, no kidding. Yeah, my so, god. But that's Clint Eastwood's age too, and he's still directing. is. Is Mel Gibson older than Danny Glover? No, Danny Glover's older, like ten years difference. Oh. Yep. No, I'm saying like. In actual real life. Yeah, in real like, life. Okay. Danny Glover's 74 and Mel Gibson is 64. So, okay. yeah. Uh, basically, would... Danny Glover's playing, he's playing a 50 year old in the first Lethal Weapon when he was only 38 years old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I I just want to see that fucking mullet make a return. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but in the, in the last one, it wasn't there. No, he had it short. Yeah. 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 yeah I that was know. just a product well, of the time. Well, they became a wig. Uh, I think after two, it was just a. Uh, extension they put on him. It was, oh, was it? Because if you look at three, it's like huge. Oh, like, okay. It's a cape, mm, practically. I but like it kind of looks like uh, MacGruber's mullet. <sighs> MacGruber. MacGruber was awesome. They're working on a show, I think, for that. So. And I heard that they're What's making the a second. bounty hunter. That uh, dog, the dog. Bounty. Oh God, yeah. That's dog what Mel bounty. Gibson would look like now with that. Mullet. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Mel. Don't do it. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm looking at, him like, oh, oh. blonde. <laughs> It'd be weird. <laughs> does this uh, does this excite you guys? Lethal yeah, Weapon Five. Yeah. I'm, down I, I, I'm down to watch it. Yeah, I yeah, think it's good. I mean, I, it, it's always been a good, lighthearted kind of cop comedy. It's been pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, I, I'd it's say. never been bad. They said Bad Boys is doing really well. Bad Boys Three. Yeah, that's. I'm I mean, like it's still that. been number one. So I, I mean, is it forever? Holy crap! Yeah, Bad so, Boys for Life. Bad Boys Forever. Forever's probably the next one. <laughs> They're working on another one. But I'm saying like it's like mm. been number one for like a month now. Yeah. Wow. And uh knowing that like maybe like a rehash of like original cast and stuff like that well I'm not, nowadays it seems like they're doing these reboots and they're not they're not uh tapping into like the actual essence of what really made those things special or making it yeah they're trying to do something of what yeah. they did before which would please everybody yeah new fans old fans and i'm happy about this because if they if they were like retired in this movie and oh, they, they and, they, and they're and they're 
they're mentoring, you know, the next or coming deal like or something like that. A yeah. Retirement home. I mean, that'd be you cool. always have to worry about that though, because look what Indiana Jones did with Shia LaBeouf. You know, ah, oh, uh, fucking Shia LaBeouf. They, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, here you hey, have David's on a roll today. <laughs> Fuck you, David's Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> so, Indiana Jones 6. Well, Sorry, I Shia mean, LaBeouf. Oh, fuck. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> I mean, that was an obvious cop-out to say we need to find a new Indiana but they Jones, didn't go, right? they didn't quite go there, though. They didn't because he, the he stole on, the hat. Been like, yeah. dead, dead. No, don't do that. Yeah. Well, and still Steven on that. Spielberg. The hell was he thinking having him swing with a whole bunch of monkeys in the forest? He's counting his oh, money. Oh, goodness. That was terrible. That was the day George shot things and decided on things. Yeah, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what kind of peyote was he smoking? The good kind. No. no. Best that money can buy. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, Tree cool. swinging peyote. Oh, no, we were talking about- <laughs> Actually, you know what? So Jay said he was out, but maybe you're in. Uh, so I was talking the other day at work, right? And I said that I want us as, as a company as a team to go do a sweat lodge right yeah oh yeah um, and then go on a vision quest now exactly what is a vision quest i know what a sweat yeah so like yeah. you just uh you it's start, an eye doctor clinic. i think you, you start like tripping balls and see yeah you and start hallucinating like, oh, they they get, they get yeah oh yeah. snap and then, well, then, you know, you'd have to go, go you have to go outside the u.s for that right that's just another day for one no you can go you can go to a reservation oh okay yeah no just go back up to canada <laughs> You can go to reservation. They can't, they can't touch on a reservation. And then, like, you know, we find our spirit animal and, like, follow it through the woods and shit. Like, <laughs> then you Alex, wake, then you wake up. Was, no, but she was totally up for it. She's yeah. like, let's do it. And I'm like, sweet. And then Jay's like, I, I no. But what if you find out that somebody's a bear and you're an anteater? I mean, those two don't match. Mm. You know? I met a Native American who was like, he went by on, like... Red Wolf or Red Fox or something. Red Fox? Not Red Fox. Not the <laughs> Red Wolf or something like that. Red Hawk. 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 Red Star Hawk. Fox. Star Fox. And he was talking about, you know, he, would, he was a priest and he would all yeah. hold up like those sweat ends. He was like, oh yeah, people pass out all the time. Yeah, he's just like, they just drop. Well, that's because you're freaking in a room that's like hotter than hell. And you know, and they're doing, balls. you know, the, yeah. the chant and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember uh, Best of the Best too? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody remember Best of the Best too? No. <laughs> that's, that's, and yeah, that scene. Because they're getting ready to fight this guy. And oh, he's yeah. Like, he's like, don't quit. Because he, he wouldn't. Or something like that. And they, I always think of that one, like in a sauna or something, like Best of the Best too. Fight No, fighters up, really do that. Think. Fighters really do that. Yeah. They'll go into like a sauna and just sit there and see who can last the longest. It's You're like an unspoken, like, yeah. Uh, one of the Klitschko brothers is known for like dominating. He's a heavyweight boxing champion mm. for years and he would like go into the sweat room and Tyson Fury uh, who's a current champion right now he said he actually beat Klitschko once and that really bothered him because he just sat in there and just because Klitschko just, uh, just relax because you know you're not going to last long and, and Tyson <laughs> just stayed there he's like I just can't let this guy beat me and he's like after about like I don't know if it was like two hours or something it was something stupid like that like, ding, I mean at he's what like, point Klitschko when actually just got up he's just like <sighs> you just got up and left. <laughs> oh, wow. God. Yeah, they people really do that stuff. I don't. Dang. I take. I, I, I do a hot five, five ten. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not a sonic guy. Yes. Do some yoga. Well, Juan, to. Dave, thanks for being on. Yes, um, this mm. was really fun. Thank you for having us. Name, Enlightening. Um, very explicit. Yeah. Um, if you will. Really. So, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, learned so, yeah. a lot about science I apologize too. no you're good you're good anyway with that said thanks guys for being on we'll okay. be back I'm Josh and I'm Mitch I'm Dave I'm Juan take care adios of course you fuck you <laughs>